Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on microservices. In today's tutorial we are going to see one of the prerequisite for microservices that is nothing but Spring Boot. How to create a Spring Boot project using very simple five steps. So th those are the uh, five steps which will be using to create a Spring project eventually which will be used for creating microservices. So let's start to this session. In order to create a Spring Boot project, we have to just create a simple Spring project or simple Maven project. And we have to define a parent. A parent is nothing but this is a, a, a project created by Spring and it is available to use in any other project or any other custom project. So Spring has created one project called as a Spring Boot Starter Parent. If we include that project as a parent in our project, our project becomes a Spring Boot project. So that is very simple. So if you create any, any simple project and configure Spring Boot Starter Parent as a parent, then given project becomes a Spring Boot project. So we have to configure the group ID, artifact ID, and its version. Once we configure a parent, the next thing is we have to define dependency. Like for example, if you create a Java project, then we have to define JDK version or the JDK for that project. So that is the very basic dependency. Similarly, whenever we create any Spring Boot project, there are a couple of jar files are required in order to treat the project as a Spring Boot project and all the jars are captured in one project by Spring and the name of that project is Spring Boot Starter Web. So this Spring Boot Starter Web contains all required jar in order to create a project which is a web project. So as we know any uh, most of the projects we create like enterprise project or the web project or simple Java project. We need different set of jar files in order to define or in order to achieve the custom implementation. Similarly, in order to create a simple web web project which is act as a Spring Starter project, we need to define this dependency so that we don't have to manually go and download the jar files. Spring Boot will provide all these jar files through Maven. So this dependence we need to define. That is very second step. Third step is, of course, we need the proper version of JDK. The current version in the market is 1.8, which is more stable version, which we can use. The next thing is very simple. If you know the Java, this is very simple step for you. That is create a simple Java file or Java class. And we have to annotate that class as a Spring Boot application by using annotation so that the Spring application or the Spring Boot will understand this given class is a, a Spring Boot application and it will this class will be used to start the Spring Boot application. So this annotation is important in order to treat a class as a Spring Boot starter class. Define a main method. Yes, of course, we, we know that the Spring Boot project run individually or run as a standalone. So if you want to run any application as a standalone, we need to have the main method. So we have to create a main method and we have to write very simple class or say we have to implement very simple logic and that is nothing but spring application dot run. And we have to pass the class which we have defined as a spring boot starter class and then we have to pass the argument. What are the argument for that given class? So this spring application, when you call this spring dot run, it actually do a couple of things. It actually create a servlet container. Because if you know our application, we are not going to run or we are not directly running in any application server. So what happens? So the spring application dot run actually create a servlet container for us. And the given application or the given custom application get deployed in that servlet container and it is make available to use by 
any other application the so as I said this can be done by using this spring application which comes as a spring boot app utility class which is a static class we can just call the run method directly instead of creating the object of that class so these are the five steps and once we, once we understand this five steps it's very easy to create in a sts tool that is spring tool suite ide so let's go ahead and create a simple spring boot application so i already opened this st tool what you have to do we have to create a maven project go to the file click new and you will see the various options so out of that select the maven project select the create simple project we'll explore this other option like skip instead of skipping archetype we'll see how what are the options later but let's concentrate on our spring boot project click on the next you have to provide the group id that is our project id so I'll say the com dot app dot technoguru dot spring boot dot sample. Then we have to use artifact ID. Artifact ID is something like the project name. I'll give it the spring boot sample. Or I'll say starter. How about that? Then we have to define the version, which is comes as a default. Then we'll package the jar. Give the name of a project. I'll say the Spring Boot Sample. If you want to give description, of course we can give. This project is used to start Spring Boot Sample project. parent as i said we have to define a parent so you have to use the org dot spring forever boot as a parent the artifact id you have to pass the spring boot starter parent which is a spring provided project we don't have to create this project just configure it is available the version is 1.4.2 it says this version which is comes with the the given project but we are going to use this version so make sure you are using appropriate thing and just click finish so what this will create if you see on the right hand side it is creating this project when you create a first time project it will de determine all the dependency in and fetch from the maven so it will automatically create that by fetching all this information so when you create first time it will take some time to create a project on the left panel at the project explorer we can see the spring boot started with the various folder structure created such as main dot main java main resources test java test resources etc also with the jdk version 1.6 the other thing is we have the source folder which is classes folder then we have target to put the target jar and then pom.xml which we know already the pom.xml is very important xml file which is the main main configuration file for maven project then we have to define the dependency as i said that that is the the next step that is second is define dependency in order to define a dependency you have to open a pom.xml either you can use the pom.xml file or you can use this dependency section I will add this dependency section uh, this dependency in dependency section copy this group ID click on this add button provide the group ID here then we have to provide the artifact ID and we are good to go just provide it and click OK and the spring boots utility got added we are going to also change let me save this what will happen we'll see as soon as i save it will start building this project you can see, you, you can see this at the right hand side and one important thing we notice as soon as we add the dependency 
the all the jobs which are required or which are available in the Spring Boot Starter web are uh, automatically available. So you don't have to download all the jar files because these jar files will be available as soon as you create a Maven project and configure this dependency. So it's similar you can configure other dependencies and the jar files will be available for you to use. So this Maven dependency jar files are already available just we on the click of the save button. The next thing we have to do is we have to define or we have to create a JDK version. So you have to just copy this Java version, go to the overview section and there is a property section. Expand that, click on create, name it as a java.version, use 1.8, click save. Click save this icon. Okay nothing is happening the jdk is not changing let's try the option of updating maven project you have to select this project right click go to maven and click update project so you have to select which project you are going to update click on that and now you can see oh the java version is automatically updated from 1.6 to 1.8 so this is very simple we configure the parent project we configure the dependency we also change the jdk you can just have a look on the pom.xml all the changes what you are configuring in this overview and dependency section is automatically get populated in this xml file so we can see the properties configured we can see the dependency also we can see this parent is configured automatically so this is a parent so once you are done with these changes the next thing is we have to next step is we have to create a a simple java class so as i said it is a simple java class you can name anything to class name where you can create you can create a class inside this source main java folder select that folder right click click new and click on a class it is a simple java class so you, you can name anything to that class So it is loading that dialog box for initialization. Initialization it might take a give the uh, let define one package. I will define as com dot app dot. You can give any name. Spring boot. Then the class name. I will give the spring boot starter. and click finish as soon as click finish it will generate a class for us and then we'll define to define a spring boot uh, a simple class as a spring boot class you have to select this you have to annotate this project right so that will define the spring boot started dot java class as a spring boot project to just go to this top of class and paste it it says some warning message if you go to this red icon click there and it will it will help us to fix this so what is looking for it is looking for some import and that will be coming from our dependencies whatever the maven dependency we are defined all the jar files are available there you have to select import from org spring framework boot auto configure and this class become a starter class but it will not execute un unless we have the main method so we have to define a main method just type main control space and it will create a main method for us you have to just select this main method identity is automatically generated. If you remember the next thing we have to create is once we create a simple Java class we have to write a main method and write this class spring application dot run. I'll just copy paste it there 
and you have to define two arguments. The first argument is Spring Boot Starter dot class because this is the class will be used to start. So define as a class and the argument if you have any thing to start. Okay, so it is complaining this class is not present. Of course, we have to import it. Just click on that and import. So this will class will create a servlet container for us will load the spring boot starter project in that container and it will available to use so this is very simple spring boot project how can we execute this right now we don't have server but when you install sts tool it comes with a by default as a tomcat so this will the Spring's application dot run will create servlet container in that Tomcat and our project that is Spring Boot Starter project will execute in that Tomcat. So we'll see how that happen. Now this is a even it will create a Tomcat or the servlet container in the app web app web application server. This application can be executed as a standalone because it has a main method. So in order to execute this application in standalone, you have to right click on this project, run as a Java. So I'll just right click on this project or class, go to the run as, click on the run as a Java application. So you can see it's creating all required information. And if you go to the console, you will see all the information what is going to what is required to start this project so it, we can see the spring boot 1.4.2 is started allow this if you are using your lap personal laptop uh, to execute we can see the various classes got loaded with mapping servlet as a dispatch servlet mapping filter as character encoding filter we have the other filters like hidden http method filter http put form content filter and request content filter for error it is mapped to the hyphen errors so it will direct to this page and we can see the tomcat is started because as i said this sts, STS tool comes with the tomcat project and it will start this project uh, in uh, this tomcat server on 8080 port and we can see that finally it started the boot starter project in 13 seconds so this is very simple our project has deployed in the servlet container and it is started so you can say you can see it's a trade icon that means it is still executing our project is in execute mode so it is our running mode so you can execute any other logic which you want to execute in this pro spring boot starter project so this is very a uh, very simple spring boot project we can create in very simple five steps first create a parent second define dependency third define a jdk version fourth create a java class and define spring boot as application by annotation and write us a main method that's it and you will have a, our first spring boot project i hope you're enjoying this tutorial if you have any questions or queries you can mention the comment section of this video thank you again for watching this video have a nice time